For the second week in a row, I am extremely enjoying newest release from Ratalaika. Welcome Trophy Hunters to Royal Frontier. This is going to be easy hour to hour and a half platinum trophy. The game comes for the price of $5 in 4 stacks for now, 2 for PS4 and 2 for PS5. At first, it can look complex, but the game is really fun and enjoyable. If the trophies or achievements ask from you to do everything in the game, it would really be a lot harder platinum. Let's start with the basics. At first, you need to choose your characters. There are only three until you unlock them more. Each character is specific and has a specific ability. After choosing the characters, you then need to choose what are you going to bring with yourself along the journey. You can choose improved health, improved attack or improved defense. After playing a few times, you will unlock more things related to trophies, but I will talk about them more later. When you start the game, you have three possible paths. Whichever path you take will bring you random enemies, random events and random loot. You can choose your path with analog sticks. At the top of the screen, you can see number of days survived. In total, you need to survive 10 days to get two trophies related to that. You start in chapter 1 and by reaching the end and chapter 2, it marks your 10 day journey. Combat is your usual RPG combat. You have your three warriors to the left and two or three enemies to the right. You are always first on move. Your first soldier, Sir Roderick, is your basic knight who deals a lot of damage to your enemies. Next one is Roman. He is very helpful because he can heal himself and also all your friends. Last one is Gazan. His special ability is to deal fire damage. At the top, you can see how much of the health you have left and also your magic points that are colored blue. By using every special ability, it tells you how much magic points you will lose. You want to maybe be careful with using spells in first few tries, just try with raw strength and then use the spells during boss battles. Boss battles on your map are marked with red eyes icon and there will often be a bear that you can fight or multiple enemies with one that has more HP than the rest. Every time you defeat enemies you get something in return, whether it be a robe, weapon or just usable that you can use during a combat. Also, by defeating enemies, you gain XP and level up. Every time you level up, you can choose what you want to level up for a character. His defense, attack or health. During your playthrough, on map you can see different icons. The ones with question mark mean that you are going to get some nice story with a choice. Sometimes by choosing the right choice, you get rewarded. And by choosing the bad choice, you get punished, which is a lot of fun. There is also a chest icon where you are guaranteed to get some weapons and usables. Lastly, there is a dollar symbol which represents a shop where you can buy upgrades. Whenever you see a house, go to it. That is your rest place where you will replenish your health to 30% or your magic points to 30%. Now, that is your basic playthrough. For the platinum, you can just play the first chapter. You will probably die two or three times before you get that right run where you will get everything. Why? Well, each time you die, you gain XP and that XP unlocks new characters, but also new usables at the main menu, which you can bring along with your characters at the very start of the game. For example, you can now bring along 10 scrolls and scrolls are one of the most powerful things towards your platinum trophy. You can use them during your combat from inventory. Some of them deal a lot of damage to your enemies. Some of them improve your defense. Some of them stun enemies, but the biggest ones are that you can heal at least 3 times your characters with 90 points of health. Now let's talk about trophies. You will get 2 for surviving 5 and 10 days. You also need to defeat 1 optional boss and you will always come across at least 1 mini boss. They are really easy to beat, they just have more HP than you do. Now as I said, your run is random. You ideally want to choose to battle with as many enemies as you can. By that I mean always go into a skull icon which is a guaranteed fight. With every fight you get gold, XP and possibly a weapon. In one run you need to collect 1000 gold, 3 weapons and 5 consumables. Just so you better understand, they don't need to be all in same run, but honestly you will get them automatically just by playing the game. Also I have mentioned scrolls. Once you unlock them from starting menu, you just need to use 5 of them for another trophy. Trophies for dealing certain amount of damage 
I got automatically without worrying about them. You need to deal 50 and 100 damage with basic attacks. How do you do that? Well, every time you upgrade your character, you can choose to always upgrade attack. That way, your stats are increased and you can easily get these two trophies. There is also one trophy for dealing 100 damage with special attack. Special attacks are always stronger and again, I got this automatically. The last trophy I needed is for defeating 10 and 20 enemies in a single run. Again, if you always choose that skull icon on map, you will always get a fight. And you can easily get that trophy before even reaching day 10. Last thing I forgot to mention is about equipping your items. You can get rings or special weapons during your playthrough. When you press options, choose your wagon so you can add weapons and consumables to your characters. Overall, really enjoyable game that I loved a lot. Cannot wait to platinum all other stacks. In the description I will leave all trophies and I am also going to leave my final run for final trophy just so you can see how the game plays and what are basic mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. See you in my next guide.
Thank you.